coming to you from the campus of Sol Ross University in Alpine, Texas. This is Jason's Texas Adventures, and we're going to go on a tour of the Museum of the Big Bend. So, here we go, guys. Beautiful statue of a horse here. Let's see what this plaque says. Donde esta? Where is he? I'll stop there for a minute. Y'all can pause that and read it if you would like. Sol Ross is a very beautiful campus. All right, let's head on inside to the Museum of the Big Bend. Beautiful stonework on this building here. Let's see what this sign says up ahead. Welcome to the Museum of the Big Bend. Admission is $10 per person, ages 13 and older. Museum is open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let's go inside. This talks about the black bears in the area. I'll never forget the one me and my parents saw in the Chisos Mountains of the Big Bend. Yeah, look at the size of that claw. This was probably about the size of the one we saw. Pretty cool, huh? This is a very well done museum. Come out here if you get a chance. Now let's have a little fun here. <laughs> you push these buttons and it'll light up on this topography map. So let's see, that's Alpine. See it light up in the blue there? Let me get y'all a better angle. Yep, that's Alpine right there. Now let's see here. Uh, Fort Davis. Right there in the blue. That's Fort Davis. How about let's do Shafter? That's where I'll be headed to next. Shafter, Texas, not far from the Mexican border. That's an old silver mining town. They got this great big flying dinosaur up here on the ceiling. Pretty cool. I'll see if I can get y'all a little better angle of it. It's getting a lot of glare from the lights. There's a slightly better view. Sorry about the glare from the lights. Sometimes it's bright in here and sometimes it's kind of dark. Still cool though. There's a look at some really cool fossils. Remember this area was once a vast ocean long, long ago. And some cool rock art found on the cliff sides out here. It says Tall Rock Shelter. Wow, look at this thing. Let's see what this is. Hmm. It says Chihuahua Trail. La Carreta. It was the first wheeled vehicle to enter the United States. That's pretty cool. They've got some touch screens in here. Let's see. This is about the Tall Rock Shelter. In a remote canyon, deep within the Davis Mountains, is the Tall Rock Shelter, one of the most significant and spectacular prehistoric rock art sites. A massive arching overhang in a canyon bluff, the tall rock shelter is home to a wide array of Indian pictographs. Who were the artists? How did they live? What did the paintings make? How and why were they created here? 
lots and lots of Native American history in this area. Those are some cool looking arrowheads. Cabeza de Vaca, check this out. This is what he wore. This is the Conquistador's helmet and chainmail. Wow, that's amazing, huh? That talks about La Apacheria. And over here, kind of shows about the religion out here. Wow, that's cool. That's like walking in a church right there. Of course, Big Bend National Park. This is cool. This is like you're hiking up the mountain here in this amazing view that you get at the end. Let's see, I'm gonna come over here of course, mining was big out here. And this talks about the ore cart. Back in the day, they would mine for mercury, also known as quicksilver. Ah, of course, the good old chuck wagons. Lots of handy things you might need on the long trail from one wagon, the chuck wagon. Cool. <laughs> and over here, we have the general store. Trade in the big bend. Southern Pacific Lines. Yep, the railroad. There's an image of Fort Davis, and this talks about the cavalry equipment that the soldiers used out here. And remember the Buffalo Soldiers? They used camels out here too, but they weren't very successful. Yep, a lot of history out here, guys. And a really well done museum. The stagecoach. The Green Cafe. I bet they served up some good food back then. Sol Ross University. This is a beautiful campus out here. This is one of the top Western museums of the West 2022. Let's take a look at some of these cool historic maps in here. I love looking at these old historic maps. They're pretty cool, huh?
This room says going to Texas. Five centuries of Texas maps. The official centennial map of Texas. Lots of history in here. A history in maps. I'm glad they're preserved in here for us to enjoy today. Look at some of these weapons here. Yep. Yeah the sombrero and a pistol cool stuff I just love looking at these old pictures too yeah the pocket watch the knife the glasses and the pistol Now I found the new area that they recently opened up at the Museum of the Big Bend. And they have a whole lot of cool looking paintings here. So let's check them out. There's a real beautiful one right here. Amazing, look at this guys. Yep. Absolutely beautiful works of art in here. Yeah, ranching is huge out here too. You get a sense of that in these paintings. artwork of Santa Elena Canyon. I've actually been there before. That's in Big Bend National Park. And other beautiful artwork pieces here. Of course, the night skies are quite amazing out here too. They have an area here you can come outside. So let's check this out. This is all new. I got a feeling we're going to get quite a view up ahead here. Yeah, check this view out, guys. Wow. This is overlooking Alpine, Texas. And you can see the twin sisters back there. I'll do a zoom in. There's the twin sisters right there. Twin Sisters Mountain. Absolutely stunning, the view.
Here's an art gallery that talks about the Western beef cattle industry. Unloading the first cattle in North America from Veracruz in 1521. Cattle on an early Mexican hacienda. Wild cattle of South Texas, ancestors to the Longhorns. Texas Longhorn. Portrait of Hasford Rupert. Range cow and beef calf. That's a beautiful painting right there. Roundup time, branding a calf. Moving young beef steers from the range. Beef steer in feed lot. Moving to slaughter, Union Stockyards, Chicago and Dressing Beef, Swift & Company, Chicago. The History of Beef in Paintings. Pretty cool. I hope you all enjoyed this epic tour of the Museum of the Big Bend from Sol Ross University in Alpine, Texas. Thanks for watching, y'all.